Now my final thesis, and this is perhaps the most provocative of all, um, which is educators will stop insisting on inequality of outcomes. How do we do that? I mean, education is about opportunity, it's about equality, it's about all these great things. Well, no, it's not. Uh, we, a lot of the time, do the opposite. We often build structures which have inequalities built into them. The, the ethics and the morality of inequality are deeply built into a lot of our learning environments. What happened in the old school? Well, I'm gonna take you to an interesting thinker in the old school. These are two diagrams constructed in an argument by the very famous uh, educational thinker and theorist, Benjamin Bloom. And it's from an article that he wrote in 1968 about an idea called mastery learning. Now, it's, a, it's an idea where we can advance on that, we can do a lot of things that are very different these days, but let me tell you the mastery learning idea um, uh, first. That let's say students come into the classroom with aptitude, which is spread across a normal distribution curve. And we give them all exactly the same instruction, which is what we did when the teacher stood at the front of the classroom and we had the, the standardized test at the end and where we um, gave them the textbook and the textbook were always the same and it wasn't adaptive and it wasn't personalized, right? Well, what's gonna happen at the end is achievement is gonna look exactly the same as the aptitudes that students came in with. So what Benjamin Bloom recommended is that with optim something that he called optimal instruction, we could push the achievement curve to the right. And how would we do that? We'd allow flexibility, which is, um, which is students could perhaps to some degree go at their own pace. We'd create group work where students help each other. We do one-to-one -one instruction. We give some students special attention. So he had a whole series of suggestions about how to push the achievement curve way over to the right. And in fact, in research that's been done around mastery learning without technology, uh, it's been shown that in fact it works. But the trouble is it's harder work. By and large, we don't do all those extra things. Now, the interesting thing about the, the world of e-learning is that we can do something which is like this and slightly different, um, and we can do it more efficiently and we can do it more effectively uh, than is the case in the past.